This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Welcome to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio. I'm Jody Miller Young, your host. We're doing the show today from Global Pet Expo, the annual convention, one of the largest in the pet industry, that I love to go to because I get to discover and share with you my favorite new products from around the world. So we're going to jump right in because there's a lot of ground to cover. But don't go away. First, we're going to take a break from our sponsor. Just grab that favorite beverage, get comfortable, and we'll be right back. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Dynavite for life. Pick up two tubes of Doggo Suds. Get the third tube free. Peppermint, tea tree, lavender, Doggo Sud shampoo. Made with all-natural coconut, jojoba, aloe. Great for healthy skin and soft, shiny coats. But no itchy, harsh chemicals. Lather up, rinse away. Try Doggo Suds. Buy two, get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back. If you've just joined, you're listening to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio. I'm Jody Miller Young. We are here at the Global Pet Expo in Orlando, Florida. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to mix it up a little bit this year. While you're going to get plenty of fashion and rescue, which I love, we're also going to be interviewing people who have incredible stories or brands that have an incredible story because I want to share that with you. Remember I told you that I was going to turn you on to some amazing stories here that may not immediately be in our lane. This one sort of is on the bridge, but a fabulous story. A woman named Kat Chrysostom had a terrible riding accident a few years ago, and she was paralyzed from the neck down. Her whole world came apart, um, but through this adversity, she learned some very valuable lessons and discovered a therapy that changed her life again. And she has taken that and created products that can help us and our dogs. So we're going to welcome Kat and learn all about her story. Hi, Kat. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so My happy. pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what happened to you. Absolutely. So the initial accident was on March 19th of 2011. Uh, so it's been just oh, just a few days, over eight years. Um, but initially, I was riding a horse back to the barn, studying pre-med in school on a scholarship. I was 20 years old. Everything was going seemingly fabulous, um, was walking back to the barn, actually, and the horse tripped. He stumbled. We uh, flipped off of a bridge together, and we both tumbled 15 feet down, and we both actually ended up fracturing our necks. And the horse was, um, I was told that the horse was not going to make it, and I was woke up in the trauma center at Shands Hospital, which was a teaching hospital um, in Florida, and was told that I was paralyzed, I would never ride again, and may never walk again. Unbelievable. So, what was going through your mind? What? I think initially, honestly, it was a fight for survival, for sure. Um, I, you know, I, I wish I could say there were a lot of thoughts. I think it was just, am I going to live, was my initial thought. Um, and, and those next three months, I was put into something called a halo traction device. I was actually told that if we did uh, surgery, that would solidify paralysis. So it was a blessing. My spinal cord was not severed. It was just severely bruised and inflamed, so they could tell that. So doing a fusion um, would have further irritated it and certainly have caused permanent paralysis. So, of course, I opted for not you know, doing the surgery but uh, then lived with the fear of the unknown for about 18 months thereafter. But I was in that halo traction device for three months. And, and you tried everything. You were telling me all the different modalities you tried. Oh, my gosh, everything. I was on 
So 18 months post-accident was when I was able to completely wean off of medications, but there was a time where I was on 13 medications. Oh and, and every medication that I had, you know, were taking, it had a side effect, and then we treated that. And it was like chasing a domino effect. Yeah, so it was quite, quite a journey. <laughs> Absolutely. But the physical therapy and everything else that you tried, the medications, nothing was working until what happened? So nothing was working, and one day I woke up. I was completely paralyzed. I was living with a woman who was a caretaker, um, helping me with my caretaking. And, I, you know, of course I had to have help to go to the restroom. I had to have help to shower, everything. And um, I called for her, and that was the first time that I had been completely paralyzed where I could, you know, I would tell myself, hey, move. Like, I could normally feel a little something. Um, but that was really a moment that scared me because I realized that, that, wow, this really may be my life forever. Um, so I called for her. They rushed me into the emergency room, and um, it was a neurologist who saw me. And it wasn't my typical neurology group, and he said they did an MRI, and they realized, you know, there was still no evident damage that they could see, but my spinal cord was very inflamed. And I just basically started pleading with him, you know, what else can I do? In a very offhand way, he said, well, I've heard far infrared light light therapy will help with your migraines because that was part of the, you know, part of what was hurting. Um, no idea about the mobility aspect. So when he walked out of the room, of course, I'd been studying pre-med. I'm kind of science, evidence-based person. So I dove into research and there was a firm locally that was offering a red light solarium treatment. And when I sat in front of that treatment the very next day, I was able to walk out um, of that yeah, of that uh, chiropractic office with no assistance. I mean, it wasn't very pretty, but I was able, that was my full mobility from since the day of the accident. And so I was just, I was blown away by it. Now I lost it within two hours, but I realized what it had done for me. Yeah, you were on to something here. I mean, that is incredible. So now the journey starts to create something that's going to be sustainable. Yes, absolutely. So I, I actually purchased a light of my own. I sat in front of it twice a day, every day for 18 months, um, really healed myself. My migraines diminished within the first couple of weeks. Um, yeah, it was incredible. And that's when I dove into research because I just thought, you know, I, I grew up in, in uh, Western medicine. That's what I knew. You know, I'd always kind of thought Eastern medicine was hocus pocus. I didn't really understand it. And it finally made sense to me. Western medicine is a beautiful thing for treating symptoms, but Eastern medicine treats the cause. And I was able to, you know, realize that. And I started um, utilizing the, obviously, the far infrared light every single day. And I just, I knew that more people needed to know about it. And that's when I dove into research. I found a um, group of engineers, actually based in Taiwan, that were perfecting a fabric that would uh, mimic red light therapy. And I was honestly skeptical. I was like, how in the world can that happen? Because, you know, red light, you plug it in and you use it every day, um, but it requires electricity. And so I flew to Taiwan, ended out working with a whole team of people perfecting this fabric. And I knew it actually replaced my light on that trip because I couldn't fit my light into my suitcase in Taiwan. So you would wrap yourself up in one of these, Absolutely. like, little... I don't know, braces. Yes, it was actually a huge cloth. So, so we hadn't designed any products yet. So it was a big cloth on a huge spool, and literally we rolled it out. It was almost the size of a blanket. I cut it with scissors, and I knew that if I, if I could be on that trip the whole time without my light, then it was working. So I'm sort of the walking testimony. And now, years later, of course, we have, we have studies that, that have been published and, you know, peer-reviewed studies. So it's really neat to be able to see that hard data. But I knew it worked from yeah. the very beginning. Oh, my God. I, get, I have goosebumps. Um, tell us about the products that you now have for what types of animals. So we um, started in the equine market. Um, I was told I would never ride again, which, by the way, I do ride. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been really cool. It's nothing like I used to, but I do ride, and I have a lovely horse that I trust very much. But I wanted to stay in that market. I've always been passionate about horses. So we started in the equine market. We have a full line for horses. Um, we then, of course, expanded into humans. My very first, kind of selfishly, I admit, um, product was a scarf for my own neck. Um, so we have a full line for humans, and now we're so super excited to be launching our dog product. So we are now able to basically have something for every member of the family. So for dogs, it's kind of like a 
jacket, a coat, or yes. Tell us a little more. Yeah, so we have a canine comfort and care shirt is what we call it. So it is, um, it has a supportive compression element, but it's a coat um, that's full fitting, so for the full body, but it also stretches down over the hips. So you have the supportive compression, which is an added benefit for anxiety, but the primary thing that we always guarantee with our products is increased mobility and less pain in three weeks guaranteed. So for that aging animal, the companion animal, um, you know, struggles with hip dysplasia or, you know, different different things, vertebral issues, slip disc, whatever it might be, it's it's excellent for them. And and we're also launching sleeves, which we're really excited about. So we have compression sleeves that for the front that will also target the shoulder areas and the hind with the stifle and the hip areas. That's wonderful. Um, so anyone who has a senior dog, has a bit of arthritis setting in, or maybe the, the dog has been injured, and this is a great additional tool in terms of healing like it healed you, Kat, right? Uh, yes, absolutely, yeah. And the wonderful part about it, honestly, is that it doesn't have any side effects. There's no adverse side effects. So you can use it as you need it. It's very easy to use, and you know that it's, you know, it's not something that they're consuming. It's not a topical that's going through, you know, that they're absorbing into the bloodstream. It's something that's simple to use, and it's safe. And I think that's the biggest thing with our, you know, they're best friends. They're my, my pets are like my children. I want to, yeah. yeah, I want to know what I'm using is safe. Um, and I, I just, it's been a really cool journey to be able to see it heal so many animals. Absolutely. Um, where can people learn more about this and find you? Um, on BenefabProducts.com. There's a lot of information there. So it's Benefab stands for Beneficial Fabrics. Um, so BenefabProducts.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. We're so happy that you are mobile, riding, you know, healed, and now you're bringing something to market that can help our pets, us, and um, it's wonderful. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jody. I so appreciate this. Oh, me too. Thanks. If you, like me, have a dog who gets very upset when you leave, we've got, you're dealing with separation anxiety, you're dealing with fear of, you know, thunderstorms or fireworks. There are a lot of products on the market, but this is the first product that I've come across that actually uses the owner's scent um, plus hemp oil to calm your dog. I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to share it with you. So we're here with Aaron Sino from My Pet, My Scent to tell us more about it. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, this is our, uh, our pet separation anxiety product, My Pet, My Scent. Uh, we're very excited about it. It uses uh, discs that are infused with hemp oil. Uh, that uh, A lot of research showing that hemp oil is very relaxing for a dog. And then we have uh, alcohol swabs that you swab your body to get your scent on uh, and drop the alcohol onto the discs that we're, we're bringing together the hemp oil with the owner's scent. So um, you will take that disc, put it into a locket, clip it onto your dog's collar, and then when you leave for work, uh, your dog will smell you while you're gone. They will be uh, calmed by the hemp oil. So bring those things together so they're a lot happier while you're gone. It's a great concept. And it's actually a cute little locket. Um, and the fact that you don't have to get it with a collar, which may not be your taste, you know, being that we are a style-oriented show, is wonderful, too. It's got a D-ring. It's got a clip. You can just clip it on to whatever your favorite collar is. Um, you also have had experience with a rescue uh, using this product. Tell us about that. Yeah, we actually partnered with uh, um, yeah, a rescue uh, organization that was trying it out with the dogs that they had, and we had great results with that as well, even though uh, the, the caretakers for the dogs weren't uh, owners. Um, you know, that, that still worked very well for relaxing the dogs while they were in the kennel. That's great to know, too, because that's a big, big issue for shelters, as we both know. Where can people find you and learn more, more about you? Uh, the best place to find us is going to be MyPetMyScent.com, and uh, that'll, that'll have everything there on our website. Perfect. Thank you so much, Aaron. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I don't know about you, but one of the big problems that I have when it pours in South Florida is how to get my babies out to go to the bathroom. None of them want to go. I'm sure some of you out there have the same problem. So while this isn't necessarily in our lane, this is a product I came across at Global that solves that problem, and it's a great product. It's called Envy Pet, and it's artifi artificial or synthetic, synthetic turf. Simulated. And we are, here, we are here with Bruce Flanser, the VP of Sales for Envy Pet, 
and he's going to tell us all about it and why this is the biggest company uh, in the pet space, and they've only been promoting to the pet space for two years. Got to be doing something right. Hey, Bruce. Hey, how are you doing today? Um, Envy Pet is a line of uh, simulated synthetic turf. Mm -hmm. Very safe for pet. We have four different grades for pets. Um, the best part about Envy Pet is, just as Jody said, that you don't have to shampoo your dog or wash your dog every time he comes in with muddy feet or anything like that. And also about the synthetic grass is if the dog defecates or pees on that area, all you can do is take a hose and wash it down. You can even use bleach on our turf and then wash it out and get rid of any of the parvo or any disinfectant that you want. And it still keeps its look, its color, its UV. It's warrantied for over eight years. And it's the perfect thing for the pet owner who wants to keep their pet clean and safe. It's actually a safety. Wonderful. Um, so tell us what it's made from. And um, we obviously want to know that it's safe for our dogs as well. Um, actually, we make the product uh, in the, we have the yarn, which is made in Tennessee. And then we tuft it, which is a basically a process of sewing it together and putting the backing on. That's made in Dalton, Georgia. So it's all totally U.S. made, totally U.S. safe. Um, it, it's made of polyethylene, which is a type of plastic, but it's a safe plastic that we find will not hurt an animal or anything like that. It'll go th if they do eat it, it goes right through them, and it'll go in there. You said it's self-contained. It can't it can lodge in the in the fat or the muscle. Exactly. It goes right through them. It's self-contained. It's it's sealed, and it's uh, it doesn't uh, absorb heat, but it reflects heat. So that's a good thing. It doesn't get hot. if the dog wants to get on it or lay on it. It gets really cool actually and cools them down. They they enjoy it in the shady area. It keeps really nice and cool for the animal, mm -hmm. and the best part is the ease to clean. You so. have that drainage system underneath yeah. too, right? We have the MV Pet drainage system which is called the Envy Drain, and it, you put it underneath the turf on a cement area or certain areas, and it drains through, and it hoses, goes into the environment, and naturally dissipates. I know for me, I'm going to get this, and it's going to go on my porch um, that has a covering over it, so I can hopefully get my dogs out there, because they like to make on grass, and they will do it. For you, if you live in the cities, or, you know, when you have... Uh, a terrace or a place in your apartment um, when it's pouring out or snowing, snowing out, and you can, you know, use this to you know, have your dog relieve himself or herself. It's a great thing to have, and it definitely solves the problem for our pet parents. So you got a relief mat right here. They come in a relief mat size. Talking about sizes, you know, what's the smallest to the largest? Well, we basically can make any size. Our largest size is we make 15-foot rolls that are 15-foot wide, 200-foot long rolls, but we can make it any size. Currently, we just released our Smart Mat, which uh, comes in five sizes, the most common five pet cage sizes, and it can cut to fit because pet cages vary in sizes from manufacturer, so it'll cut to fit. We also do an SUV mat because dogs put in the back of the car, they get rolled around, it's too slick for them. With the grass there, it has the comfort level, they can stand on it, they don't get rolled around. And then we're also doing it for chain link, people that have the big chain link kennels in their backyard, the mobile ones or the play pens. It's great for that, too, so you don't get the brown burn spots. Everybody, nobody likes their brown burn spots on their yard at all, and this keeps that from happening, and it makes people lawn always look nice. That's great. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. Good. Sorry. No, I was just saying, we also make it so it looks very natural with a brown thatch in it, so and we want it to make like it looks like part of your home or part of your landscape. Bruce, where can people learn more about this and find you? Well, the best way to look, find us is to go on mvpet.com. It'll give you locations. We can uh, help you with any technical information or any other information on the different uh, pet turfs that we make. Because we also are the largest, one of the largest in landscape and also in field turfs like football fields, soccer fields. We did the turf for the Puppy Bowl. So oh, back wow. In, in the NFL. So that's a, we are, know that we are a pet safe brand. That's wonderful. I actually covered the Puppy Bowl for Hamptons Pet Magazine a while back. It's a really great event. Yeah. Really nice to talk to you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much, Joan.
So a lot of you may be familiar with Roughwear. Um, I've covered it a lot on the blog as well as on the radio show over the years. I love the brand. We're customers. Um, and with spring around the corner and summer around the corner from that, I stopped by the booth and they have beautiful cooling coats and vests and great float jackets for the water, for the beach, that I thought we could find out a little more about. So I'm here with Thomas Horsch, who is a manager with the brand. He's going to tell us more. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Jody. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. Tell us, let's start with the cooling coats and these vests. Tell us about them. Sure. So we have two products here that are cooling specific items. Um, both of them, of course, the dog wears. Our feature item really, or our flagship cooling item is called the Swamp Cooler. And it's a full coverage jacket that works through evaporative cooling. And the way that evaporative cooling works is that you get the jacket wet, and as that water evaporates, it pulls the heat off the body of the dog and keeps them cool. And it also has reflective properties, so when the sun hits it, the sun just bounces off of that and keeps them cool that way as well. So it works really two ways, um, but it's an amazing product that we have the science that shows how it works. Um, we've had this out on the market for a number of years, and this is, I think, Generation 3 now. Um, What's new about Generation 3? So it's harness compatible. It's got a leash portal that you can hook uh, your leash to the harness underneath the jacket. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, totally um, compatible with the harnesses and makes it nice for going out and walking all day. Mm -hmm. And um, that jacket, depending on the weather conditions and the humidity, things like that, it'll work anywhere from an hour and a half maybe to two hours. And then when the dog's wearing it, to reactivate it, you can simply pour water on it as the dog's wearing it to keep that evaporative cooling going. So it's, it's a great jacket for all day, for going to the beach, going to a festival, um, going for long walks, um, full coverage for dogs that really need that entire body cooling. It's the perfect jacket for that. Great. And there are these uh, adorable vests here. Um, tell us a little bit about those. Sure. So this is kind of a scaled down version of the Swamp Cooler. It's called the Jet Stream. And it has the cooling material underneath the dog on the core organs uh, of that dog. So it keeps those organs um, cooled and the top is kind of a lycra spandex um, reflective material that's very elastic and stretchy. So think of doing athletic pursuits with your dog where you're going out for a run for an hour or going for a quick bike ride where that dog needs to be able to move and to run and to do those athletic pursuits that, that dogs love to do um, without having a big coat on. Um, we're, but still getting the benefits of the cooling. That's where the jet stream comes in. So it's an athletic type apparel. Perfect. And it comes in a really adorable mandarin orange and a beautiful sky blue. You'll be able to, to see photos of these on the Bark and Swagger page of the Pet Life Radio site. Let's walk over to the float vests because this summer, you know, we may be going to the pool or the beach. We want to, you want to keep your baby safe if they're going to go in the water. These are stylish, and the brand is quality. Tell us about these. Sure. So our um, float coat is designed uh, for, number one, full freedom of movement of the dog when they're swimming. Uh, there are no encumbrances, uh, say, on the neck or under the belly that uh, gets in the way of the dog's um, natural moat. Uh, movement and natural swimming ability. Um, it keeps them in a natural swimming position so there are no artificial, um, again, flotation that pushes their head back or does other weird things that um, some other products do. So natural swimming position, full freedom of movement. It's got the handle that's a little bit more forward on this jacket because we know that when you pull a dog out of the water, their front paws come up first and their back paws come up last. And this handle is designed to um, support and encourage that natural movement coming out of the water as well. And then we do a couple of uh, other design features on our, our jacket. Um, all the buckles and straps tuck into um, little uh, sleeves. And so there are no straps dangling down in the water that could get caught on branches or um, things in swift moving water, etc. That's and then, a big one. Some brands is. don't think about that. Yep, it is. It's huge. So, you know, I like to think of this, our, our um, flotation device, as a swift water kayak PFD for dogs. So, again, natural movement, safety, all of those features that humans look for in a, in a swift water kayak PFD, we build that into our flotation device as well. 
Perfect. If you're not an extreme adventurer or an adventurer at all, you still can use these products. They're beautiful. They're high quality, well made, and um, we love them. Thank you so much, Thomas. Where can people find you? Um, Ruffwear.com. And that's a good place to start, but we also have a number of uh, local dealers in your area. And we always encourage people to use our local dealers. Go in, get your dog fitted, get them them sized, and, and put your hands on the product. So go to roughware.com, hit the dealer locator, find your local dealer, and go support your local dealer. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. I'm here with Natalie Hennessy of Play, Pet Lifestyle and You, a brand that you've definitely read about on Bark and Swagger and heard about on the radio show. Um, we're here to see what's new, and we've got some fun things for now, for spring, summer, and for back to school. So Natalie's going to tell us about it. Hey, Natalie. Hi. Thanks for stopping by our booth. We appreciate it. Sure. I'm excited to show you everything that's new. Tell me. Let's first start with what's available, not available, but what is for now. Okay, perfect. So right now we have our Willow's Mythical Plush Toy Collection. So this you're going to find all those fun creatures. So we've got a big Yeti with furry hair, big super size squeaker, crinkle fabric, a jackalope. He has a nice spike squeaker, which is something that's new, a spike ball. Our unicorn, Eunice the Unicorn. She's one of my favorites. She's got a little edgy vibe, and she has a water bottle center, which is really fun for the extra crunch. And then Darby the Dragon. It has the crinkle wings, and it's perfect right in time for Game of Thrones. So make sure you pick her up. And then our gnome as well has sliding rope um, arms and legs, so it's a little fun for a tug action toy and also has a spike ball squeaker and then in addition to those which are all washable like the rest of our lines and um, they all also feature our planet fill which is uh, made from recycled plastic bottles we've recycled four million bottles to date since we started so we're pretty excited wow. about that milestone and as you know the planet fill is in our bedding as well but it's all I mean, all of our toys and then also we have a back to school collection so if you're also perfect for graduation i know those are all coming up puppy obedience school we have a little graduation cap that you can actually turn in and wear it has two little loops so you can attach a strap put it on it comes with the diploma it's really cute best wet kisses as we had a big debate on that it has and that has a crinkle fabric as well as a tube squeaker and then there we have doggy digits it's a new calculator toy it has a glow in the dark um, fabric which is something new crinkle and then a really cool sounding squeaker that's the body of it and then our puppy palette that one is fun because you can actually you know every what puppy doesn't want to actually make their own artwork so you can have a, the um, artist can talk the paintbrush today <laughs> paintbrush detaches and you can hold that separately and then it has some crinkle fabric and the color is a squeaker and also has a spike ball. The little small ones, you can actually hold it in your mouth. I which love is how, cool. yeah, I love how everything is so interactive and it has so many different features to interest the dog. Um, and they're adorable. You will see pictures of this on the Bark and Swagger page of the Pet Life radio site. Now, let's go to summer because beach, pool, play. You've got a collection of toys that are uh, waterproof and floatable and they are really cute too. Tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so we launched a Scout and About collection back in 2016 and we've been really wanting some more rope toys. We've heard a lot from our customers. They also wanted some more rubber-based toys. So we have these new Nova Flex toys that you were just mentioning. Uh, we have a Nova Stick. It's it's uh, floatable, like you mentioned. It has a crinkly core, which is nice. It's also, it also has a really cool texture on the outside that while the pet is nomming on it, you're going to be cleaning your teeth, which is always good. Who doesn't want clean puppy teeth? Hello. I know. And then we have a ball. We've always wanted to have kind of like a rubber baseball, which we're excited about. So this one fits in most of the ball launchers. It also has a little opening so you can insert treats. So after you're done playing, you're laying in the park, you know, bring Fido over, put some toys, some treats in, then they get a little bit more movement and simulation out of that, which is nice. And like you mentioned, they are floatable and buoyant. And then our rope toys, we have a new honeycomb rope toy. It's a really cool, intricate pattern. We do recommend um, for those heavy chewers, it's a good one because it's really durable. And then you can stuff treats inside, which is kind of fun to make a little more interactive and a little more fun. And then we have a tug ball rope toy, two sizes for everything, small and large. That one is nice. It has a nice, easy to grip handle for the human, a ball element hanging from it for the dog. You can get it launched pretty far, and it's perfect for park days, beach days, and just going to the beach, or summer, summer. Summer, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the beach is summer, Hot right? That's what I always think. Summer. And the sunshine anywhere you want to go. That's what we want. We want to be able to take your dog anywhere, and it's nice to have these toys that are adaptable for both indoor and outdoor. Perfect. I love the brand. I love that it's, you know, eco-conscious, and you've got some great new products. Check it out on the Bark and Swagger page. Where can people find you? They can find us on Instagram at, at, at PetPlaySF and also on our website, PetPlay.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> We're going to take a short break from our sponsor, but don't go away. When we come back, you're going to meet some more interesting people and learn about some cool new brands. So refresh that beverage, get comfortable, and we'll be right back. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back. 
right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets. Let's Talk Pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com Welcome back. If you're just joining, you're listening to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio. I'm Jody Miller Young, your host. We're coming to you today from Global Pet Expo in Orlando, Florida, one of the biggest pet conventions in the world, where we're meeting new brands and talking to interesting people with fascinating stories. So let's continue. So this is really, really cute, and this is perfect for us, right up our alley. It's called Pui Vuitton, and it's eco-friendly dog waste bags that are very chic, very she-she. And we're here today with Brian Wright, VP of the Green Pet Shop. Hey, Brian. How's it going, guys? Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for, uh, for doing this interview. Um, tell us a little bit about Pui Vuitton. It's one of your newest products, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. So our, our company is based on eco-friendly products. So when this product was brought to us originally, we wanted to rebrand it and come out with something that was special and unique to the, the, to the design and come up with a great name. So our CEO, Larry, and myself and our team got together and we're like, what name would work for this? And we came up with the Pui Vuitton name. Um, so we're having a lot of fun with it. It's a completely eco-friendly product. So the bags are made of cornstarch. Um, and we've got four packs and eight packs. And the coolest thing about them, too, outside of their amazing chic design, is that they're actually made of 18 microns, which means they are the strongest, thickest, most durable bags on the market today, in addition to being the most stylish. Tell us a little bit about the pattern. I'm going to take a couple of pictures, and hopefully we'll have some great pictures that you could provide us so my listeners can see what we're talking about. But tell us a little bit about this cool design and the inspiration. So the inspiration, of course, is, uh, was behind a little bit of that Louis Vuitton sh- theme. Monogram. Monog- theme, yeah. So, of course, for, for licensing region- reasons, we had to change the name a little bit and change the spelling. But the, it was influenced by that, and you can see the, the bone and, the, and the, uh, the fire hydrant print. It's very colorful. And then, of course, with that classic dark deep brown and a, di- a nice navy blue coloring as well. And you'll get to see all of this. It is adorable. If you want to be very stylish on your walks, I would check this out. Pui Vuitton by The Green Pet Shop. Where can people find you? You can find us at thegreenpetshop.com. Pui Vuitton, it's number one for picking up number two. All right. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you, guys. I was sent an email in Time for Global about this app called Pet Parade that when I checked it out, I saw very quickly, not only was it really adorable, but it was addictive. And so I needed to find out more and want to turn you on to a new app, a new game that for us dog lovers who love to get our dogs out there and have other people see these really adorable photos and compete and meet other dog owners, this could be perfect. We're here with Viva Chu, founder and CEO of Good Boy Studios, and he's going to tell us all about it. Hey, Viva. Hi. Um, Yeah, so... Pet Parade um, is an app for dog and cat lovers, um, and what you do is, is basically just it's this ongoing who's the cutest uh, pet contest where you upload photos of your dog or cat um, or even you know rabbit, horse, or or gecko, um, and then you compete against other pet owners that are on there. Um, uh, for daily, weekly, and monthly prizes. So uh, we've got about um, 2 million uh, pets on the platform right now. Uh, um, uh, we're in with about, you know, the average pet parade user spends about 20 minutes every day on there. Um, it's uh, Our demographic's kind of mostly um, women who, and where we kind of 
fit and compete for time uh, is, is basically, you know, we substitute out the, the bubble popper games, the word for friends, the panda pops, and the uh, bubble saga like games. And instead, you can actually swipe on and off to kind of vote for other people's pets. Um, you earn kind of virtual coins where you can kind of save up to use uh, to buy virtual treats for your own pet or you can actually send virtual treats um, to other people's pets and make new friends with uh, other pet parents. Uh, we have a messaging platform where you can actually you know, comment on other photos and as well as you know, private message your friends on there. Um, we just see a ton of engagement, a ton of kind of competitive um, you know, spirit on the app. Um, what's really fun and engaging about it is that um, the, the parents really just kind of love sharing and showing off off their little fur babies. I mean, they... they we do. That is what we live for. Um, when you say virtual treats, explain that to us a little bit more. Yeah, so a, a virtual treat is, is something like a, you know, like a, um, a little, you know, beef, beef bite treat or a little dog biscuit. Or for, for cats, we have like a sushi treat. Or for even uh, dogs, we have fun stuff like virtual hot dogs or hamburgers. And then uh, we also... So is it kind of like a thank you, you know, to... Yeah, it's like a thank you gift that you, you actually send um, out to other pet, pet, pets um, that... Uh, and it, it's a way to give them points and say acknowledge that hey you've got a really cute pet and um, it's very social and it's uh, the the treats are reciprocated as well and so once you get a treat uh, for your pet you get a little notification and it's it's like a nice surprise and then you open it up and you see this really fun animation of your your dog or, or cat kind of eating the treat and then you can treat back you can give it back, and so that that's kind of the fun part of the the game as well. It's very social, and so you meet a lot of cool people by just kind of treating other people's dogs and, and cats, and then uh, a lot of a lot of cool uh, friendships have actually developed on the app. And you can also you can also win actual prizes in the real world. That's right, and so we um, we partner with different uh, pet uh, brands and businesses and then they, they actually sponsor some of the treats where we'll actually make uh, a uh, dog treat uh, that's kind of representative of their brand. Uh, Blue Dog Bakery is actually one of our uh, biggest uh, treat sponsors and um, they kind of have their own like vir virtual beef bite treats that you can give in the game. Um, we also uh, do kind of prizes on a daily and weekly and uh, monthly basis where we give out kind of awards for the cutest you know pets. Um, and this is based on votes and you know people voting for your pet and. It's based on votes and it's also based off of just kind of fun kind of characteristics that our brand sponsors are kind of looking for so for example we're doing a promotion with um, a company called Pet Crew where uh, we're spo they're sponsoring National Unicorn Day on April 9th and um, the prize is for a unicorn costume that you can win and so they have kind of uh, certain kind of characteristics of the pets and they help us with the judging and then we actually give out those prizes and the prizes kind of appear in the app as these kind of magical prize boxes that um, your, your dog or cat actually won for you and that you open in, in the game fun but you also get it delivered to your house right yep you get it right delivered to your house um, and then in some circum some instances you can actually kind of uh, pick it up at a retail partner as well and so what other kinds of brands besides pet crew and blue dog bakery are you aligned with yeah so we do uh, a lot of um, we have a lot of partners in the treat you know business um, so uh, just, just so many, you know, fun things, uh, and then toys as well as foods, um, clothing, collars. Uh, so uh, we now you're speaking our language. Yeah, <laughs> and so you can win, and uh, you can win uh, prize tickets from just kind of doing uh, voting uh, daily with an app that you can actually save up and actually redeem for any one of our sponsors' kind of prizes. And it's just a fun uh, way to, to actually interact with your favorite brands as well. Yeah. Uh, so where can people download the app? So you can get it. Uh, it's available on both iTunes and um, Google Play. And um, it's, and it's a free app? Parade. Yep. It's uh, totally free. It's called Pep Parade. We've got um, you know, over 20,000 five-star reviews. And um, we're, we're the number one social media app for pet pets you know, out there. 
Check it out, guys. I'm telling you, it's addictive. Thank you so much. Viva. All right. Thank you. So I came across a product that I thought was not only stylish, but really solves a problem that we all have, whether you live in a cold climate or a warm climate, because eventually you have summer. And with summer comes heat. And the, the heat from the sun and our pets, our dogs, don't get along for long periods of time. So whether you're in your backyard, going to the beach, or on vacation, this product called Shady Paws is a great thing to have. We're here with Patricia Darkea, who is co-founder of Shady Paws, and she's going to tell us all about it. Hi, Patricia. Well, hello. It's good to see you, Jody. Thank you for stopping in. Shady Paws was created because there's a need for this. Yes, there are crates in their cages, but do we have anything that you can actually travel with with your pets and take them to restaurants? Maybe you want to go on a boat, or perhaps you're just having them with you and there's no place to put them. So in social events and so forth, the great thing about Shady Paws, it's flat folding, it's old and go, you can put it in your backpack, comes with ground spikes, as well as also furniture belts, and you can utilize it in all these different avenues. The shade is very long or short, so you can adjust it. It's also applicable to on furniture, as well as the ground, and again, as I mentioned, on larger vessels. And it's well ventilated, so you have all this ventilation, shade, there's even pockets inside for cookies and leashes and treats. And it's just such an amazing product, and there's nothing like this here at the show. You have thought of everything, and it comes in really cute patterns. Tell us about some of the different patterns. I know you're debuting a new one here, right? Yes, we are. In fact, what we've designed is we've designed now for the military style, which is this camouflage, and people really like this tactical look. And this is also very conducive for the animals who are now working in the military. So they need shade because there isn't any shade out in the deserts in different parts of the outdoors, but we're also targeting dogs that are senior dogs, or what about the ones that have alopecia, or have fair skin, or a lot of hair. All these animals need the attention as well, because their paws are being, of course, exposed, their ears, their eyes. They, too, have skin ailments, just like we do, but sometimes people overlook this. But now with Shady Paws, it's just a positive product to take anywhere and everywhere. Very cute, Patricia. Um, also, you should know, because this is definitely up our lane, there is a bling um, Shady Paws that has beautiful crystal paws, big crystal paws uh, on the top, on the umbrella part of it. And there's also, you know, a sparkle one, um, the camo, as Patricia mentioned, so where can people find you to find out more and, and buy? Thank you. Thank you. We are selling online. So you can go to Camping World. You can go to Bed Bath & Beyond. We also have Tractor Supply. In addition to, you can also come to our website, which is ShadyPaws.com. And you can always look us up at ShadyPaws.gmail.net. So there you have it. It's just a really uh, uplifting, very vivacious, outgoing, and just easy breezy folding go bag that you can just take with you. And it's very, very conducive for all different parts of the atmosphere. Patricia, the bling, uh, the beautiful bling Shady Paws has a little bit of a story. Tell us. Yes, we actually created it because it is pink, which is Lisa Vanderpump's favorite color, but then it also has these beautiful diamond paws on it, and it's an indicator, so when people see this beautiful Shady Paw, it, all the proceeds go towards Yule in China to save the animals, because there's so many animals that are at the mercy of being eaten, which is a That's terrible right. thing, yes, and so what we're trying to do is we're working with her whole plight, and when you purchase a shady paw, then of course the proceeds will go towards that. So we very much love the animals and want to stop and discontinue the torture of eating. Absolutely. It's a great, great cause. Thank you. If those, for those of you that don't know, Lisa Vanderpump um, and her foundation is very involved in helping to rescue dogs from China that are earmarked for the Yulin Dog Meat Festival. Beautiful work. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You will be able to see photos of the Shady Paws products on the Bark and Swagger page of the Pet Life Radio site. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, it's blessing. Thank you so much for coming by. We all love our dogs, and we're all very supportive of rescue. So when I passed by the Humane Society of the United States booth, um, and I saw that one of the big focuses at Global this year was stopping eradicating puppy mills, 
uh, which we all support. Um, I wanted to talk and see what the latest um, breakthroughs were or strides were in this campaign. So I'm here with John Goodwin, who is the director, right, the direct, the senior director of this entire campaign for the United States. So, John, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, tell us a little bit about the latest strides made in eventually, hopefully, eradicating puppy mills. One of the biggest developments is that a lot of local governments and city councils, as well as now a few state legislatures, are advancing legislation to prohibit the sale of puppy mill dogs in pet stores. The pet store is one of the main outlets puppy mills use to dupe unsuspecting families. There are also websites, though, so I want to warn people, don't buy a puppy over the Internet site unseen. could come from a puppy mill. But, but for the purposes of these laws, we're talking about the pet stores. Nearly 300 local governments have now said no puppy mill dogs in pet stores, and two states have done it, California and Maryland, and about a half dozen other states are considering similar laws. That's wonderful. I mean, hopefully this will catch on as a trend and people will realize, um, because it's all about the money at the end, isn't it? Uh, they'll realize that there are better ways to make money. Um, we know that recently um, the USDA has been a little, done a little bit of backsliding. Tell, inform everyone what this is about and what you're doing to try and gain some ground back uh, in terms of transparency. There's a lot here. Two years ago, the USDA started severely redacting the inspection reports that were available to the public when their inspectors went into these commercial dog breeding kennels and found violations. Also, they started announcing some of the inspections in advance, and there was a precipitous decline in citations, meaning they weren't enforcing the law. They were seeing things and just saying, hey, clean that up not citing people when animals needed to go to the vet, animals didn't have the right food, water, food and water, whatever it was. There has been one good development, though. Uh, in mid-March, a rule was proposed that would stop these puppy mills from getting their licenses automatically renewed when they had violations of the Animal Welfare Act and requiring two of ten reforms that we had suggested. I really wish it had been ten of ten, but two of ten is uh, about as much as we can expect in this current USDA. Number one, the dogs will be required to have continuous access to water. That seems like an extreme no-brainer. But number two, which I think is a bit more significant, is, is that if this rule goes through, and we're in a 90-day comment period now, the puppy mills will have to have an annual hands-on examination by a veterinarian for every dog. Some of these places have about 400 dogs. So that could be significant. What can you tell my audience uh, that they can do uh, even in the smallest way, to help you in this fight to eradicate puppy mills? Well, first let me say that at regulations.gov you can find the new proposed rule and you can go and comment on it. And we want people to encourage the USDA to adopt the strongest version of this proposed rule. Second, you can learn about more about puppy mills and how to fight puppy mills at humanesociety.org slash puppy mills. Real simple, humanesociety.org slash puppy mills. We've got all the information to become an expert as well as how to learn how to take action. Wonderful. Thank you, John. Um, remember, while we love adopt, don't shop, um, not everybody wants to adopt from a shelter. Some people do want to buy a dog from a breeder. Um, Know where your dog is coming from. Do your homework. Make sure it's a responsible breeder who loves that dog and cares about that dog and takes care of that dog. Um, John, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you having me on. Another brand that you may remember from the blog and the radio show that I love is Luna Blue from Hawaii. And Yoshiko Hishida um, is the mommy of the brand. She created the brand, and it's beautiful, and it has a, a beautiful history steeped in the culture in Hawaii. Um, and she also kind of marries it with the things that we love, which is the bling and the brands. So she has some new wonderful things uh, this year at Global, and she's going to tell us about them. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me again. My pleasure. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It was a busy year. Um, we launched a lot of new stuff, um, a lot more color, I think. You know, we brought out a lot of colors, and um, we expanded a lot because um, we've done 
not only clothing but uh, more daily stuff like mats um, where bed, you know dogs can rest on. Mm -hmm. So the line itself has probably like fourfolded um, since I started off, but um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of inspiration and a lot of feedback from our customers, you know, because they are our, you know, jewel. So um, try to make them all happy. But mm -hmm. most of all, um, even though our line is very boutique -y, we try to keep it so that the dogs can still run around, roll around, you comfort. know, bark. Comfort. That's very important Absolutely. for us. Absolutely. These um, hair maze are a really, really cute collection, really cute collection. Um, tell us a little bit about what you have here. Okay. Uh, well, it's orange. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's orange. definitely orange and brown, and brown. as it should yes. be. Yeah, um, orange and brown. Uh, very simple colors, but a very sophisticated way of using the dog uh, motif. Um, and it has a carriage theme as well. Um, but we have um, a background to this tank where. People think orange is not really the color, but we wanted to bring it out with the parody theme of, of course, our French brand. Um, and a lot of people have enjoyed the dog um, carriage on it rather than the horse. So we get a lot of laugh out of that, and that's what I enjoy seeing. It's very cute. Well, it's always good to have humor, but they're also really pretty. Um, you'll be able to see these on the Barkham and Swagger page of the Pet Life Radio site. Um, now, the blankets that you talked about, they're beautiful, beautiful new mats. Um, you've got tanks to match, dresses to match. Tell us about those. Okay. The mats, um, we specifically made them to a size where it's not too big or not too small. Um, dog owners, mommies, daddies can carry these mats in their bags, um, lay them out wherever. And on the back is a non-skidding material so that wherever you lay the mat, um, the mats are very practical to use. But, it, of course, it has that parody theme. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's Chunel. Yes, very, very cute. Um, what else do you have that you'd want to talk about this year? Um, I see some cute toys. Um, any new teas? Um, well, we have the new Gucci line. That's oh, let's new. Let's go over and look at that. Yeah. That is really, really cute. Mm -hmm. uh, Gucci is something that I came up with after thinking about it for the last maybe six months. And then... Finally, was able to come up with a parody name for it, um, and that's how I came up with a Gucci. <laughs> I love it. You'll be able to see this too on the page. Where can people find you? Uh, as far as retail, or okay. as far as yeah, retail or ordering directly? Oh yeah, they can order through us directly, or um, we have a lot of vendors or stores on the mainland that carry our line as well. Um, you can check us out on Instagram, and then if they send us a message, we can, uh, um, of course, um, guide them to their appropriate um, location of where they are, and they can a purchase retailer. our yeah a retailer, of course. Yeah. And it's Luna Blue. Luna Blue. Uh, Instagram address is Luna, uh, Luna Blue Hawaii. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening from Global Pet Expo, this show. It was so much fun. I say that every year. I love Global Pet Expo. I hope you loved it this year, too. I really enjoyed introducing you to brands that I love and to really fascinating people with the coolest stories. So... Thank you all for listening. Thanks to our producer, Mark Winter. Mark, you make us sound so good. We love you for that. My passion is living stylishly in animal rescue. So tune in next time to discover the designers, home decor, styles, and rescue stories I love. And don't forget to visit me at BarkandSwagger.com where you'll find great fashion, shelter stories, and more. So until next time, when fierce fashion calls, bark and swagger. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.